Number 51. A camera with a 100mm focal length lens is used to photograph the sun and moon. What is the height of the image of the sun on the film? Given the sun is 1.4 times 10 to the 6 kilometers in diameter and is 1.5 times 10 to the 8 kilometers away. All right, so we can basically kind of just simplify this into a little picture, right? So here's here's the lens. They tell us the focal length that is an inherent property. 100 millimeter focal length, so uh, that's, convert that into meters, all right? 0.1 uh, meters. Then it tells us the sun. So the sun is all the way over here. They tell us the diameter of that sun. By the way, the diameter is not only horizontal, but it's also what? It's also vertical, right? So this diameter actually does represent technically the height of the sun, okay? So this is now in kilometers. Oh, we need that in meters, right? So basically that's going to be, if you convert it, it's going to be 1.40 times then 10 to the ninth, 10 to the ninth meters, okay? It also tells us how far it is away. So this horizontal now to the lens, the distance there is going to be, that's the object distance because the sun is an actual object. This is 1.5 times 10 to now the uh, 11th, okay? You got to add three basically, and this is in meters. So all we got to do is now saying, what is the height of the image? Okay, what is the height of the image? So in order to find height, I realize I need to somehow relate it to object and image distance. So what I want to do is I want to find where in the world is the image distance or where is the image in relation to the lens. Okay, so that's what I'm going to solve for first. So I'm going to use the thin lens equation. One divided by the object distance plus one divided by the image distance is going to be equal to one divided by the focal length. Solve this for image distance, subtract this term on over to the right hand side, get rid of the plus sign, and then you're gonna cross multiply these two terms. Look at how nice and simple that is, right? Very quick now, we're very efficient with this algebra, right? Okay, so now start plugging in the values. It's simply gonna be one divided by now one over the focal length of 0.1 meters, okay? One minus then one divided by that object distance of 1.5 times 10 to the 11. Now notice, this is basically, I mean, when you think about this, isn't this basically zero? <laughs> That's basically zero, okay? It's not in reality, but watch. When you do the calculations, it's going to be 1 divided by 0.1, do the denominator first, minus then 1 divided by 1.5 times 10 to the 11th, and then that comes out to 10. The calculator doesn't even give me the exact answer. So then it's 1 divided by 10 overall, and it turns out to be 0.1 meters. And wait a minute, is that the same as the focal length? Well, yes, it is. Okay, yes, it is. It isn't the focal length. This is the image distance, but that's what happens when the object becomes infinitely far away, essentially. This whole term just goes to zero, and you're left with then just the reciprocal of this, all right, in terms of this fraction, because it's one over this, but then it really is just one over 0.1. Uh, hopefully that makes it, yeah, anyway. Um, anyway, it works out to 0.1, all right? It'll equal the uh, focal length. So that is now the uh, image distance. Now that I know the image distance, what I'm going to then do is now I can finally use my equation. All right, I'll move it on over here. Let's use the uh, let's use the height of the image divided by the object's height that is going to equal the negative image distance divided by object's distance from the lens. So it's saying, what is the height of the image? So highlight what you want. Here it is. All right. So if I want that, then just simply cross multiply this on over. Okay, and now here we have our equation. So it tells us that the image height is now going to be equal to negative di. The image distance is what we found over here, 0.1. Okay, the height of the object, the actual object is the sun. What's the height? We already said that it's the same thing as the diameter. If they gave the radius, you got to multiply it by 2. Okay, keep that in mind. 1.4 times 10 to the ninth. Divided then by now the object distance. Okay. The object distance away from the lens was 1.5 times 10 to the 11th, right? So if you have an infinitely far thing away, you might not even need to bother solving for DO, excuse me, DI, because you know that DI is basically just going to equal the focal length, all right? So that might have saved you time. But, but if you're not sure, if you can't catch that, you can always rely back on the calculations. But notice how the math works there. So this is then going to be negative 0.1 multiplied then by 1.4 times 10 to the 9th divided then by 1.5 times 10 to the 11th. 
and here we go. So the image height now is negative 9.33 times 10 to the negative fourth. Isn't that kind of crazy if you think about it, right? I mean, the sun is 1.4 billion, right? 1.4 billion meters high. And we can compress then that, right, sun into an image now um, that is located 0.1 meters away from a little camera lens, right? This is literally like 10 centimeters. Um, and we can compress that sun into now having a height of, you know, oh, by the way, the negative sign just implies that it is inverted, which we would expect anyway. Uh, we can compress it now into having a height of like, you know, 0.9 millimeters or not even one millimeter. Um, right, kind of crazy if you think about it. Anyway, thank goodness for lenses. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.